something done went down already. And, and now we just officially waiting to hear exactly what it is. But something has happened already because Jameson Hensley, about 10 minutes ago, he tweeted out, just got a text. Good news on the way for the Ravens. And just in case you may have doubted Jamison Hensley, somebody asked Jeff Zrebic, they said, oh, any, any word on this? And Jeff Zrebic replied, he said, yes, got the same text. So they're all on the same boat with that same text. Maybe they're in a group chat or something like that. I wasn't invited to that group chat. Jamison, Jeff, what's up? Anyway, we, we could talk later, but this, this is exciting, man, because in the next maybe hour, I would say within the next hour, maybe we're even within the next 30 minutes, maybe even by the time you see this video, whatever it is that they're talking about, it will have been announced. It will be official and it'll be out there to the public. If I had to guess, I would assume that well, I would guess that it's the Lamar Jackson contract. I think that's what it would be, especially based off of what Jack Settlement put out there earlier that the Ravens will, will need to they would work on a Lamar Jackson contract and then that could help them bring in DeAndre Hopkins. But that's what I would guess it would be. Because the Lamar Jackson contract, that can clear up a lot of things. Oh, man. Just this offseason alone. Remember all the... oh. Does he want fully guaranteed? We heard he wants fully guaranteed. Oh, no, we, he doesn't want fully guaranteed. We didn't hear he wants fully guaranteed. They said he wants something else. What's the average per year? Does he want it to be a shorter deal? Does he want it to be a long-term deal? Uh, is uh, all the rumors, the reports, the stories, the articles, the, 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 the tweets, the threads, the everything? That would all officially come to a close. And we wouldn't have to wonder, oh, could Lamar possibly get traded could Lamar possibly end up here? Is Lamar going to stay with the Baltimore Ravens? What's going to happen with Lamar Jackson? Is he going to continue to be our quarterback for the foreseeable future? Or is he going to play quarterback elsewhere? All that would be done. That would be a wrap, man. That would be a wrap. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man. This, uh, this whole thing is, is crazy, man. Um, all right, and now Jay Glazer just put it out there too. He said, I'm hearing there's been major, major, major progress between Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Source close to Jackson told me if no hiccups could be done very soon, any day now. Oh man, <laughs> I love it. Love it. <laughs> oh, we getting there. We getting there. So this is like, oh, man, so close, man. So close. So close. The Lamar Jackson deal is so close to being done. Oh, and that, that like, literally, literally just saw that. I literally just saw that tweet from Jay Glazer. This is great, man. This is great. Um, because this, oh, man, it's good. <laughs> Oh man, I'm, I'm I'm happy, man. I'm happy. This this is this is nice, man. This 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 will be nice, man. Because if y'all remember, like years ago, I thought it would be a no brainer that this would get done even before his contract run out ran out. Didn't happen. Then last year, um, during training camp, so I'm like, oh, it, it sound like uh, sound like they close to getting a deal done. Didn't happen. Heard that they were close too. After we had thought that, heard that they were close, but nothing ever happened from that. And then uh, as this as the season went on, I was thinking, okay, mm, stuff seems a little bit off. Stuff seems a little bit kind of weird. Then the report came out from Skip that Lamar ain't happy because he ain't been paid yet. And da -da -da, he ain't really been involved like that. Da -da -da -da. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Well, so we could tell the vibe ain't really it ain't been the same, but still, I don't know. And then once we reached the off season, I was thinking, oof. This only makes stuff harder. You put that franchise tag on. Ooh, the franchise tag get ugly. And I did not think he would play on no franchise tag. I did not see that happening. And then we went to free agency. Um, and I, my thinking was like, no, oh, it, it, this ain't looking good. I, I don't think this is going to end well for the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. I think they're going to go their separate ways. 
Um, and my thought process too, I was hoping Lamar would stay, but then at the same time, like, ugh, I just don't see it happening. But my, my thought process was whatever happens, if he's going to stay or if he's going to go, this, this got, whatever's going to happen has to happen this off season because Ravens can't just, Ravens and Lamar, they just can't keep dragging this thing along. They need to come to whatever the resolution is going to be. Hopefully it'll be a nice resolution between both parties or if it's a resolution where they go, they say, okay. But then the whole Lamar Jackson, the, the tweet where he said, oh, I requested a trade on March 2nd. And I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that didn't hurt. Um, but then where everything really turned around for me yet was, uh, as y'all know, when they signed Odell Beckham Jr. And they showed him on FaceTime with Lamar. That's when, that's when everything turned around for me. That's when I really felt like, okay, this thing could get done. This thing is going to get done. Lamar is going to stay happily with the Baltimore Ravens, not begrudgingly. Um, and now we're close. We're close. Um, so and now, hey, now this is coming out too. More and more stuff coming out from Dan Graziano. Per multiple sources, the Baltimore Ravens and QB Lamar Jackson have had productive conversations in recent days. And there's optimism that they are making progress towards a long-term extent. <laughs> We getting there, baby. Getting there, baby. We right there. Now, now, Ian Rappaport, the Ravens and star quarterback Lamar Jackson have made progress on a mega deal, sources say. It's not done, but Baltimore may keep their star, and Lamar should get paid. We so close, man. We so close, man. Let me, let, let me, let me, let me check another one, man. Let me check another one, man. Wow, this is great, man. This is great, but it's, it's obviously being widely reported now, and I love it. Um, Mike Garofalo or Garofalo said the saga's almost over. Uh, my sports updates and negotiations between the Ravens and Lamar Jackson have been unpredictable over the last two years, but this is the first time there's been any sense of things going in the right direction. Jeff Zriebrick, our own guy now. Not the out, outside guys, not the national media guys, but our own guy. Now, Jeff just said nothing finalized yet, but the Ravens are working toward a long-term agreement with QB Lamar Jackson, according to sources. A year-long process has gathered some momentum and a lot of optimism. So we are right there. We are so close. Very, very close. So this is a beautiful thing. Timing is everything. Deadlines create action. They spark action. And even though this isn't necessarily a deadline before the draft, this could be something that could help because maybe, maybe. And you know what? Sometimes I be talking so much, I forget some of the stuff that I say. A after last year, after last season, I was thinking because um, there were people that were saying, oh, man, Lamar Jackson should take uh, he should take less. He should take a lesser deal. So they can really build around him. And I'm thinking, like, uh, why would he do that? That would not be smart because the Ravens could have built around him already when he was on a lesser deal. Why would he do that? And people were like, oh, because if, if he takes a lesser deal, then Ravens can really build around him. Oh, no, they should have done that already. But I also said that Lamar, if he were to do that, it just wouldn't be smart for him to take a lesser deal. But then at the same time, we had also said that he should see about the Ravens first. Because there were some people that suggested, oh, if Lamar signs a lesser deal, then the Ravens can go get a receiver. But I was like, oh, what if Lamar signs a lesser deal and then he gets trapped and they, they do the same thing that they've been doing? But now they went out and got a guy, Odell Beckham Jr. They also got Nelson Aguilar, who a lot of us forget about too. And then if Lamar signs now, it's like, all right, you went and got Odell Beckham Jr. You in the process of getting DeAndre Hopkins? Maybe, we'll see. It ain't official yet, but... Oof. That could be great. But that would be smarter of him to do it this way rather than, oh, take lesser and then hope that they get a receiver. No, put that pressure on them. Make them go. Make them work. Make them work and make them make it happen. Don't make them do the almost stuff like we you. No, 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 no. Make them close the deal. They close the deal with Odell Beckham Jr. It sounds like they're getting ready to close the deal with Lamar Jackson soon. And hopefully they can close one more deal before the draft starts tonight. Well, we're going to see. Team, keep it clean. Hey, y'all already know what time it is. I'll see y'all soon, hopefully when things are official. I love you. We out.